In our last video, we explained Comet Nishimura, the green comet that has been dazzling the sky with its stunning appearance, where it came from, and what makes it special. Today, we are going to update and inform you about the latest news about this amazing celestial object. We will cover what happened to Comet Nishimura after its solar storm encounter, when and where people can see it again, and why it is so important to watch it. So stay tuned, and let's get started. As you may remember from our previous video, Comet Nishimura is a long-period comet that orbits the Sun every 200 years or so. It was discovered by Japanese astronomers using a telescope in Hawaii. Since then, it has been making spectacular appearances in the night sky, sometimes visible even with the naked eye. One of the most memorable sightings of Comet Nishimura was in August 2023, when it reached its closest point to the Sun and appeared as a bright green streak across the sky. It was also accompanied by a rare solar eclipse that cast a shadow on some parts of the Earth. But not everything went smoothly for Comet Nishimura. On September 6, 2023, a powerful solar storm hit the comet and caused it to lose some of its tail material. The tail is made of dust and gas that are ejected from the comet's nucleus by the sun's radiation pressure. It acts like a jet engine that propels the comet forward. The solar storm was actually caused by a coronal mass ejection, which is a large eruption of plasma and magnetic fields from the sun's corona. A coronal mass ejection can disrupt or damage comets by heating up their surface or changing their orbit. So what happened is that the solar storm hit Comet Nishimura at an angle of about 45 degrees, which means that some of the tail material was deflected away from the comet's path. This resulted in the loss of about 10% of its original length. But don't worry, this event did not affect the comet's orbit or trajectory significantly. The comet will eventually recover its tail as it moves away from the sun and into colder regions of space. It will also grow back its tail as more dust and gas are replenished by cometary activity. The solar storm also did not affect the comet's brightness or color significantly. The comet remained green throughout its journey around the sun, as it always does because of its unique composition. So what does this mean for us? Well, it means that we can still enjoy watching Comet Nishimura as it makes its way back to us in October 2023. It also means that we can learn more about how comets interact with solar storms and how they affect their appearance. Nishimura is expected to make another spectacular comeback in October 2023 after passing through the inner solar system, where it will encounter some asteroids and comets along the way. This will add more dust and gas to its nucleus and make it grow longer and brighter. It will appear in different parts of the sky at different times, depending on its position relative to the Sun and Earth. You can use online tools like Sky Safari or Stellarium to find out when and where you can see it from your location. More on that in the next section. One of the best times to see Comet Nishimura will be on October 13th, when it will be visible low in the south-southwest after sunset. Another great time to see Comet Nishimura will be on October 20th, when it will be visible high in the northeast before sunrise. You can use binoculars or telescopes to observe its details more clearly. The comet will also appear higher in the sky than usual because of its elongated shape caused by its solar storm encounter. This means that you will have more chances to catch a glimpse of this amazing object before it fades away into obscurity. Now that you know what to expect from Comet Nishimura, let's talk about how to watch it and make the most of your observation. Here are some tips and tricks to help you find and enjoy this amazing comet. Number 1. Choose the best place and equipment. The first thing you need to do is to find a dark and clear spot away from city lights and pollution. You also need to check the weather forecast and make sure there are no clouds or rain that might obscure the comet. You can use online tools like Sky Safari or Stellarium to find out where and when Comet Nishimura will be visible from your location. 
You can also use apps like Comet Watch or Comet Locator to get alerts and notifications when the comet is near your sky. You don't need any special equipment to watch Comet Nishimura, but you might want to bring a pair of binoculars or a telescope if you want to see its details more clearly. You can also use a camera or a smartphone with a long exposure setting to capture some stunning photos of the comet. Number 2. Choose the best timing. The best time to watch Comet Nishimura depends on your location, the season, and the weather conditions. Generally, you want to look for the comet when it is low in the sky, before sunrise or after sunset. This way, you can avoid bright moonlight that might wash out the comet's green color. You also want to look for the comet when it is near its peak brightness, which usually happens around October 13th or 20th. This way, you can see more details about its nucleus and tail. Number 3. Enjoy the show. Once you have found a good spot, set up your equipment and start watching. Try not to blink too much or move too much, as this might affect your vision of the comet. Try to relax and focus on what you are seeing. This is not only beautiful, but also important for science and astronomy. It helps us understand how comets form, evolve, and interact with their environment. It also helps us monitor changes in our solar system due to solar activity. Comet Nishimura is one of those rare comets that we can see with our naked eye without any special equipment or preparation. It is also one of those rare comets that we can witness during a time when our sun is especially active due to a recent solar storm. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics or videos, please leave them below in the comments section. Until next time, stay curious.